Hi, my name is Sean Olson. Today we're going to go over how to export your scene as a VMF, a map file that you can export as a level into source games right in 3ds Max. First off, I want to start with a, a thanks to some friends who have helped uh, develop this VMF exporter, and those would be Andrew Penry and Gulliver Thode. There's been other people on various forums that have also helped me uh, solve the problem of getting some of the aspects of the VMF exporter to work. So thank you everyone and if I didn't mention your name hopefully uh, I'll give you credit in the forum somewhere. There are a couple things to note. The VMF exporter that's in the Wallworm uh, toolset is different than the Convexity VMF exporter. So I want to contrast a little bit the differences between the Convexity VMF exporter and the Wallworm VMF exporter because they do have some differences and you may be using both at different times one, convexity pretty much assumes that your scene is going to be full of uh, convex shapes and unless the objects are hidden it tries to export everything and that's a pretty good assumption in certain circumstances however when you're using the wallworm tool set it's very likely that a whole bunch of the items in your scene are not convex for example models, uh, displacements and various other things so the only way for Wallworm to know what's supposed to be exported as a brush is you have to tag it. And to tag it, you'll open up Anvil, which is the renamed displacement tool. And you'll notice that there's this section here called Export Tags. We have Brush Geometry and Skybox Objects. Today we're just going to be talking about the Brush Geometry. Skybox Objects is a really cool new uh, tool for getting your skies into source but we're going to talk about just brush geometry for now. If you want an object to export as a brush you need to add it to you have to tag it with this and you can select multiple objects and whatever objects you select and you hit add they'll get tagged. So that's important. Now there are some exceptions I have made it so that any object, any geometry that's in convexity floors or convexity walls in your layer manager are also automatically exported. So anything you put into those two layers are going to be assumed things that are supposed to be brushes. Everything else you want to export as a brush you have to tag it. If I tag something incorrectly I can always select it and click remove and then it will no longer export as a uh, brush. Now if you try to export something that is not convex and tell it to export as a brush it will cause problems and won't your map will not work properly. For example if I choose this object which is a model and tell it to add now this the tool is going to realize that this thing is not convex and it's going to tell you there were some problems. If you hit F11 in this circumstance you'll get a list of objects that were not that it thought might not be convex. It doesn't fail anymore. It will automatically still add them to your brush list. However, it's letting you know that it doesn't think they're convex. The reason why I still force it is because there are some false positives. So it will tell you that you added something incorrectly. So if I select this again and hit remove, it's no longer in the list of things to be exported as brush geometry. Now there's some other things that uh, get exported that I should tell you about. Cameras will export and you, all the multiple cameras you have in your scene will export to your VMF. And if you happen to have a, a camera selected as the current active viewport, for example if we choose, if we were at this camera, when we load the map in Hammer by default it would be from this view this would be the camera that's selected. Also the layer manager your layers and the objects in them will also get exported into Hammer so all the objects in these different layers will be in those appropriate layers inside of Hammer. And here's an example of the layer manager in Hammer mirroring the layer manager that we had in in Max. These are your user viz groups and you still have your auto groups.
And I also want to point out that the visibility, whether that group is on or visible or invisible, does carry over. If the layer was hidden in mechs, it's also going to be hidden inside of Hammer. And you can always just uh, unhide it. and bring it back. Also the entities, if you have convexity, are, are transferred. So these were uh, entities that I tied to brushes inside of Max with convexity. They came over as the proper things. And finally, there are two ways to get to the exporting. You can open up Anvil, again, which is in your Wallworm menu and you can click this create VMF button right here or you can go to the Wallworm menu go to Wallworm exporters and choose export seen as VMF and it will bring up the same menu now you can choose not to export certain things or you can choose to um, use the defaults here eventually I will create uh, tools for you to save your presets and also have menus to bring out the various options for these different stages of the compile. I don't have those yet. You can go straight to compile, however, if there are errors that need to be ironed out. Uh, you may find that it may not work correctly. This is still early on, so most of my tests have been able to compile straight out of here, but if there is some kind of error, you may have to open it up and hammer and, and look at it. Also, this launch game after compile has never worked for me for some reason. There's some kind of steam error that happens and I'm going to look into why that happens or doesn't happen. And in the future we'll be adding more options for uh, the exporting process as time goes forward. Now these light multipliers, the purpose of these is uh, because the the values of lights inside of Hammer and Source are not the same as the light values inside of Max. So basically it will take any value of a light inside of max and times it by 200 by default and if it's a light environment type thing which is like a directional light it'll take its value and multiply it by 20 so omnis and, and spotlights will become uh, 200 times the value that they are inside of max inside of your map and finally I want to point out that the material library generator has been updated and it creates different materials than in the past the DirectX shader is no longer the default shader for anything other than blend textures and also any libraries that you created with older versions those textures will probably not work accurately in the VMF exporter 1.22 and later so you may have to update any libraries that you had generated in the past with the new 1.3 material library generator. Again, my name is Sean Olson. These are the Wallworm tools. You can find these at wallworm.com. And you can also see information and join the Wallworm forums at wallworm.net. I hope you found this educational. Please feel free to send me any emails or questions. And I look forward to seeing your work. Have a good day.